Today you're gonna learn how to use these things, also known as Tomfa, one of the deadliest karate weapons you will ever come across. But actually, they're originally known as Tongguai in the Chinese dialect of Chuanzhou because that's where they originally come from. But if you watch my Karate Nerd in China web series, you already know this. Ah, yeah. mm. Today I'm gonna show you a demonstration of Hamahiga no Tomfa, one of the most important kata with the Tomfa. Then I'm gonna teach you the basics, the kihon of how to actually use these things. And last but not least, you're gonna see a video I shot here in my dojo about 10 years ago of how to use these against tie pads. And that's actually the full kata applied with impact. Keep watching. I'm taking you on a little road trip right now to a nearby beach because Hamahiga, the name of the kata, is actually an island just uh, a couple of hours drive from Naha, which is the main city in Okinawa. And I once went to this island when I studied at Okinawa University and had an awesome barbecue at that beach. And of course, that's where this kata comes from. So that's why we're going to a beach right now in honor of Hamahiga no Tonfa. Fun fact, the Chinese translation for Tomfa is actually small walking stick. Makes sense when you think about it, right? It's like a small walking stick. Anyway, back to the dojo. We're back. Now let's see how you can learn how to use the tonfa. I wanna show you the basics. And after that, I wanna show you a flow drill sequence of how to apply the kata that I just showed you against full contact tie pads. That's a flow drill I developed around 10 years ago. So the video quality is quite low because well, cameras weren't as good back then, but still it will give you an idea of how to use this with impact. But first, let me show and teach you the basics. I want you to start on your right side with the reverse grip. The passive hand is at the hip and the other hand starts up here. We're gonna start with diagonal strikes. Number one goes like this. See how I let it go and I extend it as I strike down. 45 degrees from outside to inside. And then I do the reverse. So I start up here and I go bam, straight down at a 45 degree angle. And this could be blocks or it could be attacks. It looks like a sideways figure eight, okay? So again, I go one, two. Those are the two first techniques of the Kihon sequence. Then I go like this. This is a low sweeping block, a harai, which means sweeping in Japanese, or gedan barai uke, if you wanna use the complete name. So I go bam, like this. 
From this position, I do an inside, a yaku barai, this way. So these are two low blocks. From this position, I then strike over the top and I come straight down the middle, this way. Notice that my passive hand is still like this, okay? From the beginning, I go one, two, three, four. And see if you can use that hip motion as well, because these hips don't lie. Now from here, I did this strike, right? Now, I'm gonna do a tricky move, okay? From this position, I'm just gonna flip it up this way. So imagine I'm striking somebody uh, and they block with a staff. That means I can then reverse the motion and hit them from below on their jaw, bam, like that. So I did one, two, and now from this position, I do an outside strike from the top. Really important here is that you squeeze and get that tension in your tonfa, otherwise you will feel that it just is uncontrollable. Okay, from the beginning, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I pull it back and I let it rest on my elbow this way as a way to control it. Because now I'm gonna go from the outside, I'm gonna strike one, two. Straight horizontally, just like this. One, two. Okay, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and now the last one is just a classic punch. Bam! This way. And that's the whole Kihon sequence. Now, with that being said, here's the video of the full Hamaihiga Kata applied in a flow drill sequence against tie pads. And those are really thick, which means that you can really smack that thing. And if you want to know how to use the other Okinawan Kobuda weapons, check out my other videos to learn more.